Welcome to Saturday's Warrior, the channel where we talk all things BYU, the Big 12, but we also love talking uniforms and team logos, uh, which is why we have been doing a bit of a series covering the new Utah NHL team. And as you probably are aware, they put it out to the fans for voting on a list of names, and they have narrowed that list down to six finalists. There have also been some leaks on potential logos for the team, and so we are going to go through and take a look at all that as it seems like the, the future Utah NHL team branding is starting to come into focus a little bit. But before we do, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So now let's take a look. All right, so here is the official voting page for the Utah NHL team name. And as I said, they've they had a first round of voting. They've narrowed it down to six names, accounting for 60% of the total vote, which doesn't really tell you anything because one of those teams could have had 59% of the vote and the other three making up that 1%. So we don't really know. And I have some questions about that, as you'll see, as we get in there and take a look at the name. So you have until June 20th to vote. So if that is something uh, you're going to do, be sure to get on and get that done soon here. I got to move my picture so I can um, skip ahead here to the next page. But so here are the finalists. Uh, we've got the Utah Blizzard, Utah Mammoth, Utah Yeti, Utah Hockey Club, Utah HC, Utah Venom, and Utah Outlaws. Now, if you've seen my previous video, I went through and and uh, did a tier ranking for all of the names that were available in the first round of voting. And first of all, I don't think I pointed out enough just how big of a travesty it is that name Utah Raptors and the uh, Utah Cutthroats were not even in that initial poll, not uh, to be even considered in the voting when they had names like Ice and uh, I, I don't even remember all the, the wintry ones. But um, so that was a, a big miss, I think, on their part to not even be voted on. I think those were two of the best names that I'd seen thrown out there. Uh, amongst fans. And so I said I was going to vote, and I did. I voted for uh, Outlaws, um, the Yeti. I also voted for Black Diamonds, which I'm okay that that didn't make it. That was a, a, a little bit out there. And I put it up to the fans to vote for the my fourth vote because you got up to four votes. And I voted for the Mammoth. That was the one that got the most feedback from you all. So thank you for uh, letting me know. I voted, and, and here it is. And so when I look at these names, Utah Blizzard just does not do it for me. If that ends up being the name, so be it, but I'm not a big fan. Utah Mammoth, I am coming around to it. I think it's a little weird that it's singular, but I'm guessing mostly just because it's uh, Mammoths is a little bit hard with the THS, but uh, they did the same thing with Yeti, which I do like. Uh, that has been consistently one of my favorites throughout the whole thing. And then there's Utah Hockey Club. I don't even know why that's on here. I really would doubt that that got um, close to the same amount of fan support as the other ones on this list. I mean, Blizzard, Mammoth, Yeti, Outlaws all have tons of support. I've even seen a lot from Venom. But Utah Hockey Club, my guess is that Ryan Smith really likes that one and really wants to make that work. I wish he would stop. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, I, hopefully it does not make it into uh, the next round of voting. Um, Venom, that, that's below um, Mammoth. It's, down, it's above Blizzard, but below Mammoth for me. And then there's Outlaws. So it's for me, it's really between Yeti and Outlaws. And as you can see, I've already uh, selected Outlaws on here. So um, I think that's the one I'm going to vote for. I have no doubt that Utah Yeti is going to uh, get plenty of support. Port, uh, moving to the next round and I just I've liked that nickname outlaws I know there's some complaints that it doesn't really fit Utah as well so be it I don't think ultimately it's going to win anyway um, but um, that that is uh, who I'll vote for uh, on this list we will see how it shakes out after the next round um, now let's take a look here at uh, this potentially leaked logo uh, for Utah, and I think this is really cool. It's nice and simplistic. This seems to fit other things that we've 
uh, seen from Ryan Smith. Uh, we know that he likes the black, like the, the jazz really leaned into uh, that, although they're scrapping that look. And then they've got the light blue, which I think there's some parallels with kind of those, that powder blue with the Darren Williams era jazz, but also seems to work with a lot of the wintry themed names that Utah has um, selected for the voting. So um, this really does seem like uh, the what the next logo or the potential logo, at least for this first season, will be. And it's interesting because that, that really, I kind of thought they were just going to go black and silver because, uh, you know, with the, the NHL colors, because uh, that was what all the branding had been up to uh, this point. But it really seems like they're going this way, even though they said they wouldn't lock in on branding until a nickname was selected. So, um, but like I said, this light blue seems to work with a lot of those colors or a lot of those nicknames. And so I wonder if, um, you know, this the direction uh, they're going to be going. Uh, let's go through and look at some of uh, these others that were uh, leaked. I guess they were uh, trademarked and um, people have access to that. So yeah, this all seems to be in line with a lot of uh, similar things that we've seen uh, with the Jazz. Um, some different styling, but I think same. Uh, they give off a similar vibe, um, but I like it. It's it's clean, simplistic, uh, pretty classic, and we'll see if they. I mean, you never know. Once they get a, uh, you know, the nickname and settle on a design, um, or rather the nickname and the direction they want to go, they could change up the design. I mean, you look at uh, the Washington football team and they had like perfect uniforms and then they picked commanders, which people were upset about. Uh, but I was even more upset that they changed the uniform. So you had the perfect uniform, call a commander, call them whatever you want, just keep those uniforms. And so uh, I, it seems like they could, they've got some really good styling for this first season, but we'll see if they continue with that branding or if they mix it up completely. Uh, as we've um, seen with the Jazz, that Ryan Smith is not afraid to uh, mix it up if it's not working. So I guess that's the the good thing is if um, you know they come out with something that doesn't work, that you know there could potentially be a rebrand down the road. But you would much rather just have them nail it right off the the get go. And here was one um, fan concept of what this could look like and you know based on the colors from the uniform and I really like this look uh, it's very clean simple classic um, and uh, seems to you know seems consistent with all the other branding we've seen and this is from uh, I believe at Utah uh, at UT Yeti so but speaking of the jazz I, I got a comment on these because uh, as I said we don't want to have to do a rebrand so soon uh, I know it's costly for the team, although they probably sell a lot in merchandise, so in some ways it could be good. Um, I'm not a fan of this look. Uh, I, I do like, I, I'm not a big fan of mountains on the uniforms really in general, and so I hope that's something that the the hockey team stays away from. Uh, but they are going back to these uh, more classic colors, you know, from the 90s with the purple, but even that, as I mentioned before, that Darren Williams era jazz with uh it looks like uh, powder blue maybe this is a little more teal um on there um with the purple so it'll be interesting to see if they have any uh parallels uh between the two brandings or if they try to keep them both pretty separate and unique which is uh kind of where i think they'll go with it so um be it'll be very interesting but uh like i said i think Ultimately, when we come back down to it, I don't know how many they're cutting it down to, perhaps a final four. I'm hoping uh, HC does not make it, and I'd like to see Venom off of that, <sighs> or Blizzard. Really, I just hope it's between Mammoth, Yeti, and Outlaws, and any of those teams, uh, those names I could live with. All right, so out of those six finalists, what is your favorite nickname? Which one are you voting for or have you already voted for? Please let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see how fans are coming out on it now. It really seems like Mammoth has picked up a lot of steam of late. I still think Yeti's probably the most widely popular, uh, but it'll be very interesting to see um, as the names continue to get wheedled down. And also, let me know what you think of this new uh, logo, uh, potential logo, and uh, the color scheme that it looks like the Jazz are moving towards. 
And if you'd be happy with that, if that ends up being their official look, even uh, once their full uh, branding has been released. So let me know all that in the comments. And again, please be sure to like the video and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.